it, are you like a good vlogger or blogger, vlogger, however you say it? Well, guys, to let you know, I like I'm not no pro. I'm not like you know. I don't like put special like words on my blogs or any of that. I just title it as it is, and like I'm not. I'm not no like expert at doing that, but what I can say is that I don't, I don't, and not to sound mean, but I don't like to watch people vlogs when they like brag all the time, like, cause to me that's like having, like, to me I feel like a lot of people they have like this self righteousness about themselves, like look at me, look at me, like no, you should be. You should be trying to help people, and I do believe in helping people, and if people are in a place where they feel like, oh, I, you know, I'm, I'm in a place where somebody else can help me, they could be a blessing to me, um, I could tell you that, um, there's a lot of people that have blessed me, um, in different ways um if it's through getting help with something if it's you know maybe um watching a video on youtube and seeing what they do maybe you could try to do that too um but i don't think that people should have like this attitude oh look at me look look at me like what i do it's for the cause of Christ. It's not for me to get glorification. It's not for me to be going around like some people that do. They brag about everything, every little thing that they do. Like, is that how, like, you? the Bible even says that we, we as a people of God, we have to be Christ-like. If we're not Christ-like, then, and you're always looking at your own self what you can do you gotta say no I don't don't I don't want to look at myself what I can do I want to be placed to God that's why a lot of people I think that some people struggle so much with Christianity they struggle with going to church living right before God but at the same time you got some of these people that they're in these battles and I'm like okay what 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 is the point of you going around bragging about what you can do then I had another person tell me well you know you want to talk bad about certain people and about certain denominational churches well you know friend I was I was I mean this is all I know and I hate to say this, but people who want to ridicule me for for me for standing up for what I believe in and what I know is right, I'm not gonna stoop down to your kindergarten level and say, "Oh, just give them a pat on the shoulder or something." No, I'm not. I'm not about to do that because that's that's wasting that's wasting my time. I don't. I don't want to like. See glorification coming from me. I don't want to see glorification coming from another person. Because that's telling yourself. You got this self-righteousness about yourself. You ought to be trying to bless people. And that's what I'm about. Even though that, you know, people say, Oh, Mike, you play the piano nice. You, you do this, you do that. Yeah, I know I do. But at the same time, I'm not trying to get glorification. I might not play like another person. I might not sing the type of songs they sing. I might sing some songs that may, might be more upbeat, uplifting. If you always playing like sad songs, that's what you're going to get. Sad worship. I'm a person. I don't like to, I don't like to, you know, like for the few weeks now my church we've been talking about um coming to church with high expectation for 
since since mid February, we've been having some outstanding, powerful packs, groups of God like no other. And I'm telling you, yo, like God, He, I can always tell people, God know what He's doing. And even though you might believe differently from a person, you still believe in God. I'm serving God. I'm not. I'm not going out here asking people to help me do, you know, um, street ministry, evangelizing in my community. I'm not asking other people to do that. I'm doing that on my own. People are so. They are so. Some people are so like. Some people are so uh, quick to look. Down on other believers because they believe differently. Like I find that so, so uh, it's different. But at the same time, I'm learning that we have to know, even though we believe differently, don't don't get upset because oh, they shouldn't have said that or, or or she shouldn't have done that. No, it is what it is. I don't care whether you like it or not. And like I tell people, it's been, it's, it's like this. It's what you've been taught. If you've been taught the word of God, you know the word of God for yourself. You know what the words say. Can't nobody argue with you. And that's why I tell people. I fellowship with all believers. But one thing I'm going to tell you all is that I'm not going to convert over to what they are. I'm not going to do that. A lot of people say, oh, Mike, there you go, there you go. You take them bad about other uh, denominations. Well, you know what, friend? I really don't care because this was on my heart. What's on my heart, I'm going to speak it. If you don't like it, oh, well. I really don't care. A lot of people don't think that other people can voice their opinion. Well, I'm going to voice mine. And like I always tell people, I'm an old-time Pentecostal Trinitarian Holiness believer. And most people in these other denominational churches that I know of, they're more liberal. They're more... Yeah, they're just more liberal. And they think that, oh, what they doing... Oh, what I'm doing is right. And oh, what he doing? Because, oh, he don't watch TV. Oh, he don't play board games. Oh, he don't go to the movie house. Like, okay. And I'm tired of these people in these other denominational churches that want to say, Oh, you look like you're... Like you're like you're bound. You can't have fun. You can't do anything. Let me tell you right now. There's a lot of things I can do. I can play basketball. I can go out and do soccer. I can go out, you know, and go for a walk. We are, and I hate to say this, but a lot of people who are like non-Christians, they want to throw stones at the people who are Christians and say, oh, look how, you know, like sad their life is. They don't have a life. They can't do this. They can do that. Like, friend, for real, are you like lost right now? Because, you know, it just makes me real like... Mad when people try to come at me and say, "Oh, you look mad. You look angry. You look this." No, when I when I live for God, I'm living for Him. I'm not living for you. I'm not living for my family. I'm not living for my parents. I'm I'm living for God. I, God is the one I love, and God He is the one He died at Mount New Mount Calvary's cross for me. I can't speak for nobody else, but when He died on the cross for me. He did. He did everything for me. That's why I praise the way I do. I worship God the way I do. So when people say, oh man, all you do is praise God, worship God. 
you do this, you do that, yeah. But you know what? I'm going to be an example to a lot of these people out here in society who don't really know God. That's what we got to do. We got to get from this box saying, oh, this is my church. This is my way. This is my, my, my. Me, 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 me. No. Go out there in the streets and compel people to come into God's house. God's not a respecter of person. He don't care what color they are. Go into God's house. But for some people, they so stuck because they want to box themselves in. But, all right, y'all. Hope this was a blessing to somebody. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hit the button below. And for notifications when I go live on YouTube, hit the uh, bell button and you will be notified when I'm live. All right. God bless. Bye-bye now.